And this is the video review for the comic series Iron Man 2 War Machine. Uh, this is War Machine as based on his comic version. Um, very cool. Um, very nice. So yes, I finally got my War Machine. Um, again, he suffers from the same... Actually, I don't... I guess I've never really played with his hips because his hips are in there really, really tightly too. You can see how those hips are just... There we go. Do not want to move here. At least at first. But there we go. Okay, we got him going. Um, he's got all the same posability. Um, he does have, unlike uh, the Iron Man where they pop off his shoulder pads, do flip up here to allow for a range of movement in the arm. I'm not real big on how they did it on this version because uh, they're just kind of like, oh, look, the shoulder pads floating in the air, uh, completely unattached from the shoulder, uh, which I think is a little, well, I mean, the shoulder up here, but the actual arm shoulder, which I think is a little weird. But uh, overall, pretty nice. I mean, just have all the same posability as all the other ones. Uh, the same hinge elbows, uh, his head can turn. He's got a lot more range of movement in his head than some of the other figures. Um, especially if you, you know, like the weapons can flip up over his back. Um, he's got the machine gun and the little missile pod. And if you flip those back, he's actually got fairly decent range of movement in his head. Um, he doesn't have a... It looks like he has a connection point there at the mid-torso, but there's really no movement to it to get excited about. There's no waist movement. Uh, he does have the double hinged knees and the same hinged uh, ankles. Um, overall, very, very cool, uh, neat version of War Machine. Um, you notice his weapons are a little darker than they initially come, and we'll get to a re the reason for that in another review. But um, you can flip them up over his shoulder, They're just like they deployed. Um, and his value added accessory, um, as I've been going over, are actually pretty decent, um, better than some of the other ones, in that. Uh, you know, you see it comes with the same cards in the stand. Um, you get these little, here's a little yellow thing that flits over the end of his g Gatling gun here. And then another little missile pod here that fits over the end of his uh, missile launcher. And just some little things, some clear things that make it look like smoke and missiles launching out of his missile launcher. And just like the flash of a, the gun barrel. Um, so very, very, those are actually some pretty cool little accessories. Um... Certainly better than like the random missile launcher on Iron Man or the uh, chest plate of what the hell on uh, the Mark III. Um, so really cool. You can really get some neat poses out of him. Definitely glad I got him. Uh, War Machine's one of my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite armors is the War Machine armor. Uh, so it's cool to have him. And this is a very nice representation of it. So there it is, the uh, three and three quarter inch uh, Iron Man 2 comic series War Machine.